y'all. So today I am going to basically be giving y'all a rundown of my journey of testing positive for COVID-19. Today makes day 17 since I have tested positive, which is technically day 19 when it comes to the state. Now the state tells you to add two additional days to you actually um from the day you took your test because in order for you to actually have the virus, you have to have contracted it within two to fourteen days. And so yeah, so I'm technically day nineteen, but I'm day seventeen um of the, from taking the test. So um yeah, so I would like to say that up until I took the test, really uh, still after the test, I was asymptomatic. Asymptomatic is a person who shows no symptoms. And so, y'all, I was around here walking around giving the damn COVID. So, yes, um, I found out I was positive or not giving, spreading, whatever. Um, so, I found out I was positive, quarantined for 14 days, y'all. And during these 14 days, I actually had documented every day I was going to do a video like that. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to give this little video for a little bit of awareness because y'all, as I was out sick, y'all were out here. Y'all were out here. And I'm not trying to contract this again because y'all, this is not the chicken pox. It's not that you can't contract this again. You can very much contract this again. I'm not trying to contract this again. So I am going to do what they are asking me to do which is wear a mask and social distance now y'all i was doing these things wearing a mask and social distancing but i don't know if i got someplace and i got too comfortable where i thought that i might be then i shouldn't have worn a mask just think about it you still in groups of 10 or whatever and you don't know who anybody has been around or if they have been around somebody who have it, you don't know if they're asymptomatic and they can be passing it to you and yet you don't have a mask on because you really trust these people. And so I'm not going to, I don't know um, how I got it, but I obviously didn't follow a protocol to the point that I did contract it. Now, um, I'm going to say this. Now, I say I was asymptomatic, but I don't know. Um... Also, I didn't, I, w I was asymptomatic up until I took my test because I uh, didn't have any symptoms. And the only reason why I went to go take the test was because somebody who I was around daily had tested positive. So it only made sense for me to go take the test. Also, you guys, I had been watching the news and the news is sitting here encouraging people to go take the test because if you're asymptomatic you were the person who were it was a you are the people who are around here spreading it like wildfire so i'm i, I told myself that i was gonna go get the test and i never did and so i wish i did because i don't know if i i might have had it when the news was telling me i don't know when i possibly contracted it so I have done my 14 days, I'm on day 17, and my doctor has basically said that, you know, come and retest five to seven days after because people are still testing positive after the, on their 14th day. So I'm going to wait 21 days till I go get tested again. Um, but he has cleared me to be able to go out because they say after um 14 days you are not no longer contagious but that's crazy to me y'all because when the health department called me the health department tells you that in seven days you're no longer contagious and that you can begin to social distance again so basically and people can begin to visit you now y'all this is basically probably why the shit is still going around because if the doctor is telling you seven days they, i mean 14 days and the health department is telling you seven days and i'm looking on social media y'all and i've seen some people this past weekend like this is why i'm doing this video because memphis is too open y'all wear a damn mask i'm not understanding why people are not wearing masks like what like why like, we see what's going on. Like, y'all, our whole world turned upside down. How do y'all think that this is fake? Like, please tell me what other time in your whole life has the whole goddamn world closed. 
fill me in because this is the first time in my 28 years. Um, I find out I'm positive. I, I, um, my doctor tells me basically I'm asymptomatic because I didn't have any symptoms. So y'all, I googled it. I'm like, so am I support? What am I to expect? What are asymptomatic COVID patients to expect? So it's nothing to basically find on Google about this. Nothing. So if Google don't have any answers for you. Y'all need to sit your ass down. Sit down. So, y'all, I go to Google. I can't find anything. So, I go on Facebook, y'all, and I join all sorts of groups on Facebook, y'all, to the point that these last two weeks have been mentally draining for me. Um, I don't think y'all understand how draining it has been because you get on there, you don't know, you you know all of these stories or you hear these stories of people who have this virus and you hear that they have shortness of breath, they have these flu-like symptoms, people are dying. So, y'all, I'm basically at home like, what the fuck gonna happen to me? I'm like, I don't wanna die. Um, I hate being sick, y'all. I, I am the vitamin queen. So, y'all, I'm like, I don't wanna get sick. Um, what am I to expect? So, I don't know what to speak. So every day I'm basically on these Facebook groups looking at these stories of people. Y'all, these people are really going through. I don't think y'all understand that people have literally had symptoms since March and have not gotten over these symptoms. People have literally um, lost organ function. Like, y'all, wear a mask. So, um... Yes, I joined these groups, y'all, and like I said, I thought I was asymptomatic um, until I actually, on day seven, until at day seven, I lost taste. Now, I lost smell day seven. Day eight, I lost taste. Day nine, I got my smell back. Day 10, I got, a lot, I got my taste back, y'all, but my taste... To this day on day 17 it's still not fully bad my taste is basically i would say a 5 out of 10 6 out of 10 but it's not fully bad and y'all it's irritating because only things i can taste there is something probably really sweet or really salty because if it's not sweet or salty i cannot taste it like it's like it does not have a taste so yeah um I'm looking on these groups, y'all. People not being able to taste taste anymore. See, I ain't been able to taste since March. People ain't been able to smell again. Like, I am very blessed to have experienced what I have experienced after being in these groups. Because, y'all, I don't think y'all understand. Um, So, um, I get on these groups. And, y'all, it's symptoms out here that they're not telling us. Like, you, you uh, just think that they tell us that it's flu-like symptoms. And so you're thinking, that, okay, I don't have flu-like symptoms, so I don't have it. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I was out here possibly for days out here spreading this virus. Like, so, um, because I didn't even know that I had it. Um, so, yeah, so I get on these groups, y'all. So, it's this one group that had, like, a poll, y'all. And this poll had, like, I'm going to say probably 75 different symptoms, y'all. So, I'm going down the list. And I'm like, okay, okay, I don't see anything, anything. And then, bam, R's, rashes, and highs. So, the week before I got tested, I work at Kroger part-time. So, Kroger... We had, we deal with money, so I wear gloves. So we had this new brand of gloves, y'all, and I uh put them on. And after work, when I got off work, y'all, my hand uh had this rash on it. And so I'm, I'm going to come a little closer where you can see, like, this patch here, this patch here. Now, I have eczema, y'all. So I don't necessarily know if that the gloves um has something to do with my eczema because I do get eczema on my hands with latex and those were latex gloves. Um but when I got out of work I put my eczema cream on there, y'all, and the next day it was gone. So 
I didn't go to work that day. The next day, I went back to work. The same gloves there, I put them on again. And same thing happened. But today, y'all, it's burning. I'm like, ooh. I, my insulin ain't never did nothing like that. So this is why I'm saying, like, I don't know if that was necessarily a rash because of how it felt. But I don't necessarily know because um, I have excellent. So, yeah. Um, y'all, um, I, if you know, uh, me, um, or follow, or I'm, I'm, I'm here because you are my subscribers, you know that I had a goal for Tuesdays of putting my recaps out. And so y'all, I have not put my recaps out in the last three weeks. And y'all, the first week, it didn't come out Tuesday. It came out that Friday. But I don't think y'all understand. I had people who I don't think y'all understand. Y'all really helped me out with um, exing me where I was at. Um, I had people who reached out to me who I uh, have, don't talk to like that. But they start reaching out to me daily when they found this out. And I had and people who I talked to daily, people who I thought that I would talk to, uh, who I mean people who I thought would reach out to me have not and um I don't I wanna tell y'all thank y'all know who y'all are. Y'all have really um helped me get through with this because y'all I was mentally in this like when they call, it was it, or they text, it was nice to not have to um, scroll Facebook, those groups, or worry, getting your mind of worrying. So, thank you. Um, they know who they are. Um, yeah, y'all, so just wear your gloves. Wear gloves. Like... Not and that was basically a warning because y'all, I have literally been recording videos all day. Y'all are gonna see me um with this outfit on with black hair, and I'm about to change this outfit and do a video with this hair. I'm gonna lay in my hair, <laughs> so I'm like, so when I'm laying my hair, I'm going to give a little um video of a little awareness, y'all, because we have no clue. Um, how this virus is and y'all we just gonna have to follow the protocol I know we want to get back to regular lifestyle but y'all we're never gonna get back to the regular lifestyle if we keep doing what we're doing and that's y'all out here in the back here not wearing masks and y'all I encourage people to go get tested because you could be like me asymptomatic and you um not know you have it and you're giving it to people you might give it to a loved one who you don't want to give it to um as well as um you're asymptomatic and like dl hughley he ends up passing out on the stage or people be asymptomatic and not have a symptom until like i had it a week later or it might be even later, and it may be, you know, like, you don't know. So, y'all go have a seat. Y'all the world clothes. So, it was serious. It's serious. 